Many interesting and unique structures in Japanese architecture exist. Japanese temples, bridges, tea rooms or houses, and sliding screen doors and walls are common architectural pieces. Some Japanese architecture, such as the Sanai Maruyama site in Aomori Prefecture in the northern part of Japan, dates back several thousand years. Although some Japanese architecture has been influenced by the Chinese, it still succeeds at being a unique and interesting set of structures. Japanese temples have been used as places of worship in the Buddhism religion for years. Places like Kyoto have several thousands of temples. Some of these temples are utilized as monasteries, however not all of them are used for religious purposes. Popular temples include Osorazan, Kinkakuji, and Shokokuji in Aomori. Kinkakuji Temple was built in 1398. It was destroyed in 1950 by a fire and reconstructed in 1955. Shokokuji has around 130 sub temples throughout Japan. Japanese temples usually consist of gates, a main hall, a pagoda, a lecture hall, a bell, and a cemetery. Gates stand at the entrance of the temple and can also be found around the temple grounds in areas such as gardens. The main hall, or butsuden, may often contain various items of worship. Pagodas are typically three or five stories and contain some representation of the remains of the Buddha. The lecture hall, or kodo, is utilized for meetings or lectures. Temples often have one or more bells. The Kuonji Temple in Yamanashi has a bell so large it requires the strength and use of a monk's entire body to ring it. Its sound is said to be heard from almost three miles away. Typically, cemeteries in Japan are only located within temple grounds. Japanese cemeteries are both spiritual and ornate. Japanese architecture also includes various types of bridges, many of which provide aesthetically pleasing views throughout Japanese gardens. Moon bridges have steep arches and are called taikohashi. Log bridges, such as the one in the Moss Temple in Kyoto, have a more natural look than the moon bridges. Stone slab bridges can be quite decorative. These bridges are set in the water, providing a pathway just above the water surface. Yatsuhashi are a type of zigzag bridge. They are often built over iris marshes and are comprised of flat wooden planks. Tea houses are another common form of Japanese architecture. A chashitsu is a garden or tea room that is used for tea ceremonies and can be located inside of homes. Some chashitsu, however, are small, detached houses in the garden area of a larger house. Typically, a roji or dewy path leads to the entrance of a detached ch chashitsu. Furniture is uncommon and minimal decor is used throughout the chashitsu. Tranquility and peace are two common themes represented in the look and feel of chashitsu. Unlike the thick and bulky doors and walls used in Western architecture, many Japanese structures use husuma. Husuma are sliding units used to separate various spaces throughout a house. They may separate a closet from a bedroom or separate two entire rooms. Opaque sliding doors are called husuma shoji and translucent sliding doors are called akari shoji. They operate on a set of tracks, one along the top of the husuma called uabuchi and one along the bottom of the husuma called shitabuchi. Many screens are made of decorative paper, silk, or other cloth. Husuma can be used as artist canvas for ink drawings or paintings. Japanese architecture is both unique and interesting. Many of the structures serve purpose for everyday use or more rare ceremonial events. Simplicity is a dominant theme in this style of architecture and often provides a 